Hey everybody, welcome to Walkthrough Wednesday and another beautiful Wednesday, hump day. A uh, little bit different today. Usually I have somebody in front of the camera taking you for a tour, but everybody was actually so busy today that uh, I'm just gonna do it solo. So let's take a look at this Outback Ultralight 221 UMD. Point out a couple of things. This does have the electric tongue jack in the front, propane tanks. It does have a large pass-through storage. So you're gonna have ample room to uh, pack things away. You'll notice that it has a very large electric slide, uh, powered slide, however you wanna call it, that extends basically the entirety of the camper. You have your outdoor speakers up there. We'll go ahead and do a full walk around of the outside. You do have a TV hookup out here and power, as well as a shower, which is great. Uh, a lot of people ask what you do with those showers. My wife and I, we use them to clean off the dogs, or if we're uh, camping near a beach, a lot of times we'll use it to wipe off the sand, or wash off the sand, I guess you should say. Coming to the back, you'll see we have our spare tire. You are uh, equipped for a backup camera up there, which is fantastic. And we have our slide on this side. So, let's just walk in and take a look. Oh. Good, I'm glad I brought you up here. So your fresh water connection, city water connection, and your hot water heater. Now we'll go inside and take a look. Solid steps, which I've talked about this a lot. I absolutely love the solid steps. One, for the more stability getting in and out of the camper. And two, if you have pets, they're a little bit more stable for the pets to get in and out. Okay, so as we come inside, this to me is a perfect couple coach or small family coach. As you'll notice right here to the right, we have our queen size bed. There is storage under that bed. You also have uh, nightstands on both sides with charging on both sides, but you'll note there's only USB on the one side. So you guys will have to fight over who gets that. We have the his and hers closets, and we do have some additional storage up above there, as well as a little nook area back there to put whatever you want, I suppose. Spinning around, we have our jackknife sofa. So that will turn into a bed, give you some extra sleeping space. Now we come back to the kitchen area, which I think is a really cool kitchen area here. You see we've got some cabinets, um, our big refrigerator, three burner stove, some storage up above that, as well as down below. And then along the back here, we have our sink and what could be a food prep area with a lot of storage below, as well as up top in your microwave. So a really cool, kind of unique kitchen setup in here. I should also point out that that slide... Uh, does not have carpet over here. You do have a rug type thing under your uh, sofa there. Bathroom is a nice size bathroom. You do have the tub shower combo. I think uh, uh, kids or pets could fit in the tub no problem. As far as the shower, it's really big. You have no problem fitting in there. Medicine cabinet with storage behind it. You do have storage below the sink and of course your toilet. And last but certainly not least would be our booth dinette needs to be set up there we go so we have our booth dinette and you'll notice this will also turn into a bed so you've got a bed here a bed here and then your actual bed and uh this is kind of cool your charging port here this will actually fold down if you wanted to but you got usb charge as well as regular power and i don't want to forget i get asked about this a lot if these specific outback models have it and this one does this one does actually have the pet kennel so if you notice down there if you need to put your pet in the kennel while you uh, venture out for the day and you don't want to worry about them, they've got a nice little space here under the bed where they can keep them safe. And one last thing I should point out is this is where your TV is. So that is on a swivel. So you can lay in bed and watch the TV or you could spin it around and see it from the booth or from your jackknife sofa. So there you have a different walkthrough Wednesday, but I guess the same thing. If there's anything you guys ever want to see, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to go out and film it for you. Have a great day and uh, only a couple of days left before we're camping.